In this video, you will learn how to migrate the projects from your Watson Knowledge Studio instance on IBM Marketplace to your new Watson Knowledge Studio instance on IBM Cloud. To recreate your Watson Knowledge Studio models in IBM Cloud, you will follow a simple three-step process. 1. Export your resources from WKS on Marketplace. 2. Import your resources into WKS on IBM Cloud. 3. Retrain the model in your WKS instance on IBM Cloud. Your new model will produce the same results as the original model because they were both trained with the same set of resources. Before migrating, you'll want to finish any in-progress annotation tasks. Only documents that have been annotated, adjudicated, approved, and promoted to ground truth can be moved to the new instance. In this video, there is still an in-progress annotation set. Open any unfinished documents, and once you are done, mark them as completed and submit to your project manager, who will then have the option to accept the set. You should take note of project name, project description, project owner, language, and any incomplete annotation tasks and their details. Step 1. Export your resources. First, we will export a type system. To do this, simply open the type system page and click export. Type systems will be stored in JSON format and you will be prompted to download this file. Next, we will export dictionaries. Open the dictionaries page and click export. You will be prompted to download a CSV file of your dictionary. Note that you cannot export read-only dictionaries. Read-only dictionaries have to be imported into your new instance from their original source. If you are working with multiple dictionaries, you can export them all into a single zip file. This might be easier to manage as you transition. Finally, we will export the documents. Open the documents page and click export. This creates a zip file for you to download. Only annotations from closed annotation tasks can be exported. Any annotations from unfinished annotation tasks will not be included in the document export. Now, let's move on to step two, importing your resources into the new Watson Knowledge Studio on IBM Cloud. If you already have an IBM Cloud account, just log in and create your new instance of Watson Knowledge Studio. Otherwise, use your IBM ID to create your IBM Cloud account and then create your Watson Knowledge Studio instance. Note that projects are now referred to as workspaces, so you will be importing your resources into a new workspace on IBM Cloud. It's critical to import your type system before bringing in dictionaries or annotated documents since they rely on the type system you have defined. To import the type system, just go to the type system page and upload the JSON file you saved earlier. Now, you will have access to all the entity and relation types you previously worked with. To import dictionaries, you need to navigate to pre-annotators in your toolbar. Open the dictionaries page and select create dictionary. You will be prompted to name your dictionary. Then you can upload the dictionary from the CSV file or the zip file that you exported. To import documents, open the documents page in the new project and click upload document sets. Then select the corpus zip file that you exported. Specify whether you want the imported documents to include or exclude the ground truth annotations before you click import. An important point to note is that only annotations that were promoted to ground truth before the documents were exported will be imported. Now, on to step 3. You can recreate your WKS model in IBM Cloud by running machine learning training. Click Train and Evaluate, and then select the document sets you want to use, as well as the ratio of training, test, and blind sets. Then, you can train the model. This might take some time. Your new model will produce the same results as the original model because they were both trained with the same set of resources. Watson Knowledge Studio models can be deployed directly in Watson Discovery Service, Watson Natural Language Understanding, or exported to Watson Explorer. An important note on managing your already deployed models during your migration to WKS on IBM Cloud. If you are planning to delete your WKS account on Marketplace after a successful project migration to IBM Cloud, please make sure that you undeploy any custom models deployed from the WKS projects on Marketplace before closing your Marketplace account. Because models can only be undeployed from the WKS project that was managing them, Failure to undeploy the models before deleting the WKS project they were deployed from will leave your deployed models orphaned and you will not be able to undeploy them from your new WKS instance on IBM Cloud. Sign up today on IBM Cloud.